My friends, things are starting to heat up when it comes to Halloween Horror Nights both here in Orlando as well as in Hollywood. We have visible scare zone construction beginning for Halloween Horror Nights Orlando as well as new merchandise and some new offerings coming to the hotels for this year's event as well as the first original house announcement for Halloween Horror Nights Hollywood. There is a lot going on for Halloween Horror Nights this year, and I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you all about all this stuff. So let's waste no more time. We got a lot to talk about. Let's hop right in to another round of HHN 2024 updates. Now, normally I would start off with Orlando first because I am an Orlando guy, but considering we just got an original Hollywood house announcement after so long of waiting, I'm going to start with that first. Over the weekend, Murdy, as well as the Halloween Horror Nights social teams, have been teasing something coming this week. We weren't sure specifically what it was, guessing a haunted house announcement, and this one's exciting. We got announced Dead Exposure. Death Valley. The description reads, a secret lab's attempts to create super soldiers takes a turn for the worse, creating radioactive zombies who escape just as you arrive. And addressing the elephant in the room, yes, this is a sequel to the dead exposure houses we've seen here in Orlando. Or maybe less of a sequel and more of a spin-off from those Orlando originals. We see Orlando doing that this year, bringing Monstros, the Monsters of Latin America, to that event from Hollywood. So now we're seeing a similar thing going on with Hollywood reinterpreting an Orlando original. The first Dead Exposure House was featured in 2008 and was centered around a photographer named Charlie McPherson. And due to this story concept, the house had a really cool effect with the strobe lights and the zombies, really only allowing them to be truly visible when the strobe lights would flash, simulating the flash of a camera. They expanded on this story in 2018 with Dead Exposure Patient Zero. This story surrounded a side effect for the zombie outbreak vaccine that explains the flashing in this installment rather than the camera flash. This here doesn't mention anything about Charlie McPherson or even the story set up by Patient Zero, so I wonder if they're going to be doing a completely original take, really just having Dead Exposure in name only. I never got to do any of the Dead Exposure houses, but from what I've heard, they were some of the scariest in Orlando's history. And considering Hollywood's emphasis on scares and aggression with their scare actors, I'm really curious how this one's going to play out over there. Now, right now, all we have is the description posted by Halloween Hornets themselves, although I wouldn't be shocked if John Murray fills in some extra details later on regarding what we're actually going to be seeing in the house. So I would pay attention to John Murdy's socials to get a little more information than what we know right this minute. But regardless, we got our first Hollywood original. What do you think about Dead Exposure Death Valley? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, moving away from the Dead Exposure announcement, we're going to move to Orlando for some more updates. And probably the biggest update that has happened in regards to Orlando's Halloween Horror Nights recently has been the beginning of visible construction relating to the event. Recently in the theme parks, lighting rigs have gone up in the Central Park, San Francisco, and Fear Factor areas. Really curious to see what the scare zones are going to look like this year. Of course, we have most of our house lineup already revealed. Not a lot to talk about because they are just lighting rigs and trusses, but this marks the beginning of construction season for Halloween Horror Nights here in Orlando. Now, I love HHN merchandise, and they've really been going hard with the preview merch for this year's event. Just last week, we got the debut of a Quiet Place themed merchandise alongside that announcement, and just this week, we got a brand new batch of Halloween Horror Nights merchandise available both in Universal Studios Florida and Islands of Adventure. We have Lil Boo once again taking center stage on this brand new t-shirt design. I absolutely love it. I love the colors. I love how wacky and zany it is. We've got pumpkins on here, tentacles, skulls bugs on here as well. This merch is in line with what we've previously seen. Different design style, but just as eye-catching with the colors. This is also the largest wave of Halloween Horror Nights merch we've seen thus far. We have, of course, the t-shirt, just basic black t-shirt. We have a little boo themed coaster and ornament. And we also got a cup featuring this new design on it, almost like the Stanley style of cups they've been doing recently at Universal. I predict these are going to go fast, so if you're in the park, pick one up and if they go online, pick one up as well if you're interested. And overall, I think this is great. I love seeing Halloween Horror Nights merchandise early, especially this much merchandise. Makes me think they're really gonna go hard on merch this year, especially original event merch. Now, I'm not sure if this is available in Hollywood yet, but I believe it will be available in Hollywood eventually because it is marked Universal Studios, not Universal Orlando. But I wanna know, what do y'all think of this new merchandise? Let me know in the comments below. Now, the last bit of Orlando news I wanna talk about was something that was tucked away 
away on the website, not really many people saw it. I'm of course talking about some spooky updates for Universal Orlando hotels relating to Halloween Horror Nights 2024. According to the website, we're getting some brand new festively themed lounges at some of the Universal Orlando hotels, specifically Cabana Bay Beach Resort, Aventura, and the Endless Summer Resort Dockside specifically. They of course will be featuring some Halloween specialty drinks as well as, you know, specialty theming. As you can see here, we see a concept for this sort of alien sci-fi theme design. This is in the Aventura lobby, but I'm guessing they're going to go all out with theming like they've done in past years with the Swizzle Lounge. Last year's theme was all themed to Pumpkin Lord and Lil Boo, so I'm expecting that same level of theming for these hotel lounges. Although with this one here, we see some aliens maybe reused from the Dead Coconut Club last year, so will we be seeing these lounges tie into the theme of each resort? I think that would be really cool. However, something available at all of the resorts for this year's Halloween Horror Nights are specially themed lobbies. Here we have a concept piece for the Sapphire Falls lobby, giving off very big haunted mansion or just generally gothic Dracula vibes. I really love this and that they're really going in on the theming for the hotels. Continues that spooky atmosphere once you leave HHN, you can still feel those vibes as you come back to your hotel and really encourages you to kind of check out each one and see what the differences are. I'm definitely going to be doing this in a video for y'all and I'm just generally really excited to see what comes to the hotels for this year. We're not sure if they're going to bring back the Cabana Bay photo op pop-up experience that they've done in past years. My guess is that they will in addition to all this new stuff. So really it looks like Cabana Bay is going to be once again the place to be because it's getting all of these offerings. But like it says here, no matter where you stay, you're going to get some sort of spooky experience, some sort of themed experience relating to Halloween Horror Nights this year, which again, it's just so cool. Also, I want to say big shout out to Zombie Chris for bringing this to my attention. He put a video out on this first and kind of discovered this on the website. So shout out to him. Of course, go check out his channel if you haven't already. You probably know who Zombie Chris is, but if you don't, again, go check him out. He makes great HHN content. And that about wraps it up when it comes to recent announcements slash updates for Halloween Horror Nights on both coasts. Not a crazy amount of updates, but we do have construction beginning in Orlando. Of course, the new haunted house announcement for Hollywood. We're entering that point of the year where everything is kind of Halloween Hornets related when it comes to Universal. Plus, on Thursday, it looks like we are getting our Dark Universe announcement for Epic Universe, and that's really exciting. I know y'all are super excited for that one. I'm very excited for it as well. So if you like this video and want to see more videos like this one, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know that you like these videos and you want me to make more of them because I love making these little updates for y'all. Also, if you haven't already, let me know down in the comments below what excites you the most out of what I've talked about in this video. Is it the beginning of construction in Orlando? Is it the new merch? Whatever it is, let me know down in the comments below. Of course, I love having discussions with you all about what's coming to Halloween Horror Nights this year. I, of course, want to thank you all for watching this video here. I will see y'all in the next one. But until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.